Well, a lot of guys just stepped up and really played well last night. You know, DJ and Chris, you know, Joe and Jeff, you know, they played the way they're capable of playing you know, all the time last night. You know, I think we, we just all played together. We made some big shots, got big stops, and uh, got rebounds. I knew we were going to get the win from the day before we came out and we were able to um, warm up. We just seen like we were into the game, ready to play. In general, the biggest thing was just making shots. You know, it sounds very simple, but at the end of the day, uh, I, our guys have been competing every game. We've had a tough time getting over the hump, and uh, at the end of the day, you got to make shots. And I think we had contributions from a bunch of different guys. Coach has always been the same when we were winning and we get into the season. And That's I, one thing about Coach Chalice. I mean, you never can you. He never get, lets up. And he's always been the same, encouraging, hardworking. He he brought us all in. He rallied us. He said, "Listen, I'm all giving up." He's always positive. You know, practice same way, coach same way. You know, he knows we can win, and uh, he's trying to get us to believe that we can win too. You know, hanging our heads, we ain't gonna get nothing accomplished. So each and every day, man as well as going to practice, you know, with that mindset that you know, we're here to get better and you know, prepare for the next day. No, we just don't give up after losing that many games and uh, coming out and playing the way we did. You know, it shows a lot about our team, shows a lot about our energy and, uh, you know, how well we play. I mean, just, just, you know, there's always uh, ups and downs, and you have to be able to work through the, uh, through the down periods and try to get over the hill. Despite the city lights, big time stage and packed arenas, playing on the road in the Big Ten offers little comfort. It's on these same cold nights, though, in hostile environments, the teams are drawn closer together, like when Ed DeCellis' squad took the floor at Northwestern. Back door, David Jackson lays it up in a nice pass by Drew Jones. Yeah. Foul line, now to the far wing. Brooks fading away, Babb. Penn State off to a great start, 5 0, three pointer by Babb. Babb. Slips and falls, gives it up to Jackson, just in time. That's an unbelievable assist. He fell down but kept his dribble alive. Crawford, that jab, step three, ring it up. Taylor Battle matched Drew Crawford's three with one of his own, and it was clear to everyone in the arena that this game was going to be a shootout. The Wildcats are on the NCAA tournament bubble, having impressive non-conference wins against Notre Dame, NC State, and Stanford. Back to Brooks. Lobs it in for Ott. Good catch. Lays it up. Man, good. Frazier was right screen from Sasha. Turns the corner. Kicks to Sasha. Lays it up and in. Frazier lost. Handle gets it back. Window and good. Frazier steals. Here comes Frazier for the lead. And yes. Frazier on the drive. Off the steal. Jackson for three. Good. Big shot by Jackson when they needed it. And what Penn State has needed all season was the emergence of a second leading scorer behind battle. Two on this night jumped at the opportunity, Chris Babb and David Jackson, and their emotion was palpable. Down to Jackson, backdoor cut, lays it up and in, the best account of the foul. To win a lever, Penn State would have to turn the other cheek in order to make every second count. Two is right with three to shoot. battle turns the corner, at the wire, Brooks hits a three from That's the it. corner. Brooks hits a three at the shot clock buzzer. 20 minutes in and the lead on the road in the Big Ten. The Nittany Lions would have to weather the Wildcats surge during the entertaining start to the second half to turn it into a win. Brooks and company were growing up in Evanston. Jeff Brooks into the lane, scored at a foul. Good strong finish, definitely has an athletic advantage against Northwestern. Diversity in his game, buries the three before the half. His first. Open look outside, Nash. Brooks passed up a shot, now fades away, good. Ooh, man, and wide open inside, Jones. Northwestern was coming off a win against Minnesota, and they were not going to make this easy. John Scherner's jam reduced the lead to one. Brooks, back to back. Inside, Jones, slam dunk with two hands, his titanic slam. Penn State seemed to have Northwestern out of its rhythm, and even when the Cats managed to get an open look, it closed quickly. The Nittany Lions had lost six games by six points or less, but the hustle and heart that's been there all year would no longer be denied. Their blood and sweat would finally be rewarded. Crawford goes in, no, and it's an offensive foul. Jackson took the charge. Bad. Down low, Jackson lays it up and in. They are carving this apart. Chris Babb is doing most of the damage because they're so tilting to battle side. He's able to walk right to the three-point line and just pick his, pick any player he wants. Foul on jumper Jackson. It's gone. He looks good here tonight. 16 for David Jackson. 
With Taylor battling the flu, David Jackson and Chris Babb put the team squarely on their shoulders. The two would combine for 40 points, and this would be one of the most complete efforts of the season by the Nittany Lion team. Out west of the Frazier, has battle on the right, Frazier coast to coast, lays it up, no, slams in by Jeff Brooks on a spectacular play. Jeff Brooks! 12 for Brooks, and Penn State leads it by nine. Plus an 11-3 run in the last five minutes. Penn State really piling on. I think this has been a testament to Ed DeCellis and his staff. Oh. Eight of 12 games in conference. They were leading in the second half. Add this game, that's nine of 13. So give them credit. They've competed each and every night. None more than Big Ten Player of the Year candidate Taylor Battle. A testament to their resolve, the Nittany Lions were focused on the charity stripe, knocking down 20 of 23 foul shots. It gave them a 16-point edge at the line. And as the game progressed, it was evident that doing all the little things well would enable the big things to happen. Back to Frazier near wing. Foul line. Frazier backs out. Down to Jones. Lays it up and in. Hard work also helps the bounces go your way as well. The Nittany Lions had been in this position before, and those experiences have forged an identity that was emerging down the stretch against the Wildcats. Their way, eight to shoot, back to battle, battle drive, bad, open three-pointer, good! That's, That's the one they needed, Steve. 67-58, Nittany Lions equal their biggest lead of the night, nine with 354 left. This is bad, oh, another! Dagger of a shot by Chris Bass. Taylor Battle doing everything to get these guys 20, 12, 16, and 10 points. Drawing the defense, kicking, drawing the defense, dishing down for your big guys, and they're getting the job done. Their shirts don't have collars, but they are blue. And that's what it was all about in Evanston. Hard work and perseverance paying off. And hopefully it will be a springboard for the rest of the season and the Big Ten tournament. It just gives us a lot of confidence, you know, that the guys can play at this level and, and play effectively. You know, uh, we're not just a one-man team. You know, Taylor's a great player, and, and he's going to attract a lot of attention, but that just frees things up for us, and, and if we can make plays, I think we can be a very dangerous team.